We have a special treat for you guys. Yes. Uh, if you're in the chat, just say live and let live. Because right now we have Halo Halo playing as green Donkey Kong. Yes. And, yes. Uh, it's going to be fun. This is going to be so fun. It's going to be wild. So We are very excited for this. And they opted to start with their Bowser, which will be very interesting. Because these are two heavies that are kind of on the higher end. Well, at least Bowser. Kind of on the higher end of the heavy player heavy character because keep in mind you know the weight of the character matters and in super smash brothers a lot of times you categorize them by their weight and so these are both very heavy characters they're very strong they hit really hard but they're a little bit slower except for bowser who seems to run just fine on his giant dinosaur legs but here we have Taylo halo playing against this bowser and this bowser is putting in the works yeah getting him to 130 percent almost Taylo halo kind of struggling against this Bowser matchup. Get the boy some bacon, eggs, and ham. He's getting cooked right now. Absolutely. This is, this is not looking good for the, the DK uh, start that Taylor wanted. Um, oh, oh, my goodness. And Kids, he, go wow. ahead. Yeah. And he did get the berry there because his side special move as Donkey Kong lets him bury the opponent in the ground and it immobilized them, but... That Bowser was able to get his attack off, and that sent Donkey Kong flying, and now the Bowser is up a whole stock here. You saw this approach, too, by uh, Taylor in neutral, and Bowser's using his neutral special, which is he's blowing fire. Uh, Taylor is coming in with a backer on top. I think that's pretty insane. He can just jump right above it and start poking in at that. Um, that's pretty advanced on his part. It seems simple sometimes, but I think it's pretty pretty nice significant because it didn't work one time. He moved towards the strategy. Yeah. Uh, not again. Not the start Taylor. Oh, oh. Oh, are we getting the throw? Because Donkey Kong is very unique in which his grab, and there he, there he goes taking the stock with that backward aerial. The thing about Donkey Kong is one of his grabs allows him to hoist the opponent onto his shoulders and walk around with them. Now, this creates a lot of interesting opportunities for Bowser to literally carry them off the stage and get kills by throwing them into the barrier, yep. into the blast zone. Yep, and you can, you can throw them into the barrier, you can throw them into the stage, you can make a panic and just stand there, mm, and yeah. take them all the way. Yeah. There's so many different options out here, and I think we're going to see some explored by Taylor here in a second. But again, not putting the damage on. Taylor's not adapting well to this Bowser. It may seem equal stocks, but honestly, the advantage is in the Bowser's hands. One more side special could probably end up being the case of, of getting another stock taken. Yeah. But Taylor trying to cover all the options, making sure that anyone that's above him or beside him is not going to be able to do it. The spot dodge on the neutral B. Wow. Great Bowser job. Getting out of that situation. Maybe not winning oh. neutral, but he's not dead. No, nope. still kicking, still. And Taylor Halo holding on at 147%, trying to keep what little of his stock he has left here, even it out. But now the Bowser at 110. This is evening up pretty quickly. Taylor trying to space this uh, recovery is back. Just, you saw him using down tilt, forward tilt, now using down special. And, and just trying to see what he can do to get this Bowser to, to move to where he wants. Oh, oh my and the shield break. In and this game, the way that shields work is if your shield gets too slow or shield gets too small, pardon, um, it'll break and you will be stunned for quite a long time. Now, uh, constantly holding out your shield makes it smaller over time, but getting hit by moves also makes it smaller. So if you can hit someone with a big enough move, and, and there's the Bowser taking that stock off of Taylo, um, if, if you hit them with a strong enough move, it'll break their shield completely. Well, the move that uh, Taylor used there was a move that specifically breaks shields quicker. Um, and so he was able to take the stock off of that. But Taylor getting uh, to 220 and almost taking the stock there, but it not being enough. Trying to get this conversion here, go into the next game with a stock lead. Oh, wow! And the Bowser wow. getting a forward smash. You, oh my goodness. I don't care if it's Taylor's DK. You go write that down in your book. You say that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the man. You <laughs> yeah. went there. It didn't matter on what day for what character. You went there. You took it. And you took him all the way. Excellent yeah. work by SAU to, to take that stock because that's pretty... Yeah, That's pretty significant. That was pretty in, in, important. And now, SAU, they're going in. It's it's seven to six. Seven stocks to six stocks. They are up a stock right now. And I believe next we're going to be seeing Efer. 
if I'm correct. I... You I don't just, know. I think Caden. You think Caden? I might go make the executive decision and say Caden. Okay. I would pick Caden for, for any of this right now. This okay. is prime time for him to compete. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And even even if it goes to a, to a game three. Yeah. Because this is prime opportunity. Prime way to, to get him out there and to do that. For those of you guys that are in the chat, can you guys hit us with a uh, what is up? Just, just full space it. Don't even have any slang because we are still trying to figure out what is up with Sagu's strategy right now. <laughs> yeah. Throwing Taylor in with DK. And, and who's going to be the next guy? Yeah, I am curious to see who they're going to throw in next. Honestly, I think I agree with you. I think Caden could do a really good job here at playing the middleman and balancing that out. But at the same time, Efren knows his stuff. He did really good against the Bowser last time. And I mean, granted, he, he took that stock and, and he didn't play against the Incineroar. So if the... Okay, so they are going with Efren. Mm -hmm. And so if we do end up seeing that Incineroar, we will be seeing a new matchup we haven't seen yet. Oh, oh. wait. Oh? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't think they changed the stage. No, I, I don't think they did. But it looks like they're they're probably gonna stick with Efer and just switch up the stage selection here. But yeah, here we have going into this next game, Efer on Luigi against uh, the SAU Bowser, and this Bowser is gonna have to reduce himself down to one stock because he was down to one stock in the last game, and then we are going into this next matchup. We're going to see what Efer does in response here. Yeah, uh, if it's not a zero to death, I don't want it. <laughs> That's true. That's pretty much it. Bowser, he has he's so big, it's so much easier to hit certain moves. And that's the thing about a lot of heavies, is that they have such a big area to make impact on. Um, it's known as your, your hurt box, or the area where you can get hurt. They have such a large hurt box that it can prove easier to get your combos off because... You don't have to try as hard to make sure you hit them, but I don't know. Efer Ooh. here getting put up to 76%. Oh, and there's the grab. Oh, but the Bowser learned from last time, and he uh, moved his controller movement stick or directional inputted or DI'd outward, and that can stop a lot of the momentum in these combos that Luigi wants to get off. Oh. Man, you guys might hear me like get tense or start like shouting. That's because Luigi has this move, his up special. It can kill at this percent for Bowser right now, and there's so many opportunities that it can happen. Mm -hmm. It's just willing to take the risk, so. Yeah, and it looks like Efer is still playing pretty safe. Trying to get some momentum here. But the Bowser doing a really good job, and oh, it not working out, and Efer getting punished. For missing that move there, and now this Bowser's up a stop. Yep, and it's it's hard because I think Bowser is a character. You know, Luigi's. So let's put it this way: Luigi's a character you want to punish them shielding somehow, whether it's a grab or a way for the, them to do something so you have special. Bowser has very little end lag on a lot of things, so you think you're gonna get that punish, and really you won't. Mm. You will instead be the one who is being punished. So yeah. Uh, yeah, it's kind of the, the idea of, you know, big man should be easy to hit, easy to hit. Oh, and almost getting the stock there with that up smash attack, but it not doing it. Bowser at 163%. And as we've talked about earlier, because Bowser is heavier, it's he doesn't fly back as far, and so it is harder to kill him, and they usually get up to higher percentages just because they are so heavy. And Efer still poking him out. He's almost, he's basically a two, he's a 206% here. And his percentage just keeps climbing, but doing a great Whoa. job at recovering. Oh, and unfortunately that wasn't a misfire, but the down B is going to be able to take that stock. And Efer's going to go into this next game with two stocks of his own. Unfortunately, he did lose a stock there. So right now they are, SAU Blue is still up five or six to four. Four? Six to five? Six to five. Six to five, five Because it's three and then one, so yeah, nine. Six to four. five. And so Sagu Lions kind of in a bit of a deficit here. I I'm, I'll be right back. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna go And he it was Coach Wilkie will return and he is going to go coach Wilkie for a little bit. Um but as we're waiting on this next game, we I would assume we are going to see some BKR. Some BKR gameplay, and BKR plays a character known as Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong is very quick, 
very fast and has a lot of combo potential. Now, I am expecting that maybe if BKR doesn't play that we might see some of the Duke. And I'm just getting confirmation from Coach Wilkie that we are actually going to see the Duke close out this game too. <coughs> which, okay, what's some insight on that decision there? It's his home territory. Yeah. It's his house. Yeah, this that's is where true. we're at. This is true. It's, it's, and, and, and he likes he likes watching. He likes us to be part of winning. But I think there's a good thing that we can risk to go ahead and do this. Yeah. Um, if we're not risking a, we've lost one or one month. One one game or, or whatever you know we won our series is so far mm. some of them have been to best of threes to the extent so this is okay yeah I'm, I'm confident in our team's ability that if it's not the right decision we can bounce back we'll be okay yeah but I think I even need to see Sephiroth because yeah. this man was robbed of his chance on stream <laughs> uh, yeah he was unfortunately it's, it's just kind of one of those things I think the Duke is fantastic yeah uh, as as a player and a person so. Let's give him this opportunity that the guys get every week, and let's be able to get him some gameplay. Yeah, because absolutely. if he's able to beat one guy already, what's to stop him from beating number two? Absolutely. I agree. And here's the real question, though. Sorry. No, you're good. Go ahead. Incineroar or Zelda? Who are they putting in? Mm. I would assume they're going to do their Zelda, because I don't think they would expect the Sephiroth right now. No, no. Wow. Good call. Okay, and they put in there's the Zelda. So... We're going to see Efer with two stocks trying to come in here on this next matchup. And hopefully, I mean, the the, the, the best play we could see here is that the Sagu Lions don't lose another one and the Duke doesn't even have to play. But we do kind of want to see the Duke play. We, we want to see the Duke play. So um, if Eden can take him, take Zelda all the way down and, and start on Incineroar, that'll be good. He's also an Incineroar Slayer, so we don't know if that's actually the best case scenario to have the Duke play. But right now, this Zelda is putting in some work. I think Kalos is a good stage pick to take Luigi. Um, that's where I take him most of the time. It's it's you know good for me. Granted, I also play Falco, Lucas, and Roy. So yeah, <laughs> some of these some of these can be biased decisions, but for right here, I would take Luigi to Kalos. Absolutely. I think that's a good decision. And the Zelda doing a pretty good job at staying out of the danger zone from this. Luigi because Luigi gets a lot of mileage out of his grabs if he can get that plunger grab then he can usually convert that into some pretty devastating combos um, but it looks like Eeper is actually getting some pretty good damage in this first stock and hasn't taken any in return and is doing a really good at kind of setting the tempo here and not allowing the Zelda to get any mileage out of their knight out of their um, out of their reflector, which is that crystal encasing... That neutral B. Yeah, that neutral special that we talked about. And when we say neutral B, if we ever say B, um, the B button is the common special button. It's the default button for your special moves. So when we say, like, neutral B, down B, we are referring to the neutral special and the down special attacks. So, just for the... For the knowledge, but wow, Efer almost getting the stock there and not being enough, but doing a great job at, at playing this ledge here. This fire yeah. in about five seconds. <laughs> I, Four, I would love to see it. Three, two. Oh, it was not a misfire. Oh, oh no. no! Oh man, that I would put that in the vein of a gimp. I would say that was it was a it was a spike, but that was more of a gimp. Rocket League players out here would say calculate. Oh, hey, fair. Um, in this game, there is a term known as gimp, and it's when you kind of cheese, or, well, that's still another... Oh, we are lagging. Oh, Dang. unfortunate. Well, we won't be able to see how Efer does, but we will be going back next time. Right now, the score uh, is 6 to th 4. Now, yes, Efer it is 6 to 4, because Efer just lost a stock. So, uh, so hopefully when the next game pops back in we will be able to see what that game is but yeah as um gimping is almost like winning through like silly means winning through easier kind of it feels like like if if you win that way it's it's almost like a cheap win mm -hmm. um and this is known as gimping one common way is you can 
uh, jump on the opponent's head. It doesn't do any damage, but it sends them into an animation where they tumble downward and they just yeah. slowly die. The, the footstool. Yes, and it is known as a footstool. Mm -hmm. And that is one way people can gimp others. And it looks like Efer unfortunately, just lost. I don't know if he was able to take a stock there. But um, hopefully he was, because if he wasn't, then right now we are going to see the Duke hopping into this game. And all of my athletes will be mad at me. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. Not here to make them happy. No, absolutely not. But I think I think putting the Duke in is good. Getting that playtime, getting that experience, and also you being confident in your team, knowing that they can handle situations like this. I think I agree with you. Yep. You know? Yep. You got Taylor playing DK in the first time, not actually playing, you know, me Swordfighter, his main. Yeah. Um, no Braden in this round either. It's just, it's okay. Yeah. It's, we're, nope, no big deal. Um, we'll change up for the last one if we need to, but I, again, I think Duke needs to be here. I think he needs to be that guy. Yeah. Yeah, he can be. I think he can be that guy. Mm -hmm. You know? And he's been practicing a lot, and as you said, he'll play until, you know, Lord knows how long. And so... Um, I really think that the Duke holding his own, staying strong, and getting that experience, getting that competitive experience, because he plays a lot online. He'll go to tournaments here and there. But to play in this league, I think that'll be vital for him. Absolutely. And his future success. Yep. Well, let's get out of your guys' way. Let's watch this match. Hopefully, let's watch this match. Yeah, hopefully. And we won't lag out. And uh, let's see. I think the Zelda probably didn't lose a stop. Uh, oh, he did. did. Okay, so Ether wow. took us off. Excellent. So yeah, so now we're three at three to five. So now the Duke, he has quite the uphill battle, but if he keeps his his head, kind of stays calm, plays patient, I think he can he can succeed here. And we're gonna see lots of playing in neutral. Now neutral is one of the states of the game where, you know, just like in a lot of sports, there is advantage disadvantage. Where advantage is when you are comboing the opponent and getting a lead on them, hitting them. Disadvantage is when you are getting comboed and getting hit by the opponent. And neutral is when two people are just kind of throwing out moves, no one's really getting hit, and just seeing what can connect and, and what kind of damage you can do. And hopefully in neutral, you can lead into some kind of state of advantage. And it looks like the Zelda, with all of her moves that can hit you from range, is getting a lot of mileage out of this, this knight and not able to reflect those, as you've called them, Skittles. Skittles. Those little damaging purple orbs that circle around you and hit you after a while. Because those things are technically projectiles, so they can be reflected. And Zelda's little crystal encasing is a reflector, but you do have to time Whoa. it, right? Yeah. Wow, reflecting yeah. that counterattack there. That's, yeah, that's a thing. That's definitely a thing. Anyone that has a reflector can do that to Sephiroth's uh, down special, his reflector there is. Skintilla, yeah, uh, as it's known, but um, it's just kind of you know be smart about the decision you're gonna make with this, and, and if you're gonna use that, you gotta make sure the Zelda's not in a spot to, to counter it with that. Yeah, yeah, yep. very smart play by both of these players, playing safe, playing smart, and Kaden getting a grab there Ooh. and trying to get the back air. It not connecting, unfortunately, in the up special. Wow, what a what a connection. Wow, great conversion by the Zelda in reading that and, and getting the lead there. And so now we have the Duke trying to take this stock off of the Zelda, seeing if he can maybe even this up a little bit more. But wow, the Zelda putting on the pressure, doing a really good job at just keeping him off stage. And oh, Caden lost his jump. And yeah, he was not able to jump there. And so Caden down to his final stock. We'll see what kind of finish he's able to put here. He's able to get these remaining two stocks off of the Zelda. The Zelda just on a roll here. Yeah, and so it's kind of a lack of matchup experience between I think most of us and you. Not, we don't play against many Zeldas. Um, you don't take Zelda to battle with you. That's just, that's kind of a rule. She can cover every platform, um, and most of the time, and I think although Sephiroth has the option of, hey, my sword's, you know, massive, I can do two things with it. I can block, you know, I can hit top platform with just an up tilt or whatever. It doesn't, uh, doesn't entirely help the situation because a lot of what Zelda does can interrupt Sephiroth, so. Oh, and again, getting hit by that up special. Oh, and getting hit oh, with the down air, getting spiked, and... That's Man, a 1-1 score. SAU is going to take that game, too. And as of right now, the 5-0 team and the 0-5 team 
are both one and one. Yeah. And, I mean, in this league, anything can happen. It can, it can happen, and, and when you ask for something, it shows up. That's, yeah. how, that's how it's going to work. So. Absolutely. So, uh, Coach Wilkie's going to continue to go and do uh, Coach Wilkie things and kind of talk with his team and reconnect. But once again, thank you so much for um, being with us here on the uh, Sagu Esports live stream. We are going into set three. Both teams are one and one. And this is a best of three. So the next, whoever wins this next game takes it. And so the Sagu Lions got to come out and bring it, give their all. Because right now they are undefeated. If they lose to SAU Blue, that would break their undefeated streak. So we'll see what Coach Wilkie kind of says to them to reset and maybe take this next game win. But once again, thank you for being here. If you guys wouldn't mind... Um, in chat, uh, I want to hear your predictions. What do you think the lineup is going to be? Right now, we've got Talo, Efer, BKR, and the Duke. So what? <laughs> oh, did they start with the Zelda? Yeah, oh, they started. No. They started Zelda, and and our guys were like, "Who's it going to be? Who's going to be?" And they were like, "Oh, it's Incineroar. Who's not Pokemon? No!" <laughs> no. That's what, pretty much what just happened. Yeah, I love that. And here we are going into game three. With both teams being one and one, SAU Blue, Sagu Lions. I mean, the Sagu Lions are undefeated. Mm -hmm. And so if they lose this, that would break their undefeated streak. But also keep in mind that the um, SAU Blue have not won a game. So if they win this, this is their first win. So this is a really important game for both teams. Absolutely. I'm pretty sure if we lose, I'm going to get found in a parking lot somewhere. Oh, right, our, right. Our guys love the undefeated thing. They don't like, you know, if I make a bad call, that's kind of... You know, oh, oh, getting the grab out of the jab there. Zelda's jab has these little sparkly magical effects, and, and he was able to move out of it and space it correctly, and his plunger grab has so much range, he was able to grab her even though she was doing that. Great job by Efer there to read that situation. Him using his plunger. See, the thing about plunger is it has, it can actually hit you when it's falling. It doesn't just grab, and that can make it really good. Ooh, Ooh. great down air there. What oh, a and a air. back air. Now, E for a whole stock ahead, 50%, holding his ground. Oh, That's oh, and we're seeing the combo. Oh, oh and man. not getting it. Unfortunately, and I don't know if you can hear them in the back, but they are They're so, wild. they are wild in there. They were really hoping for that because. Um, you saw him do that huge uppercut. If Efer had connected that, then that will Oh, and he gets it there! Wow, great recovery by Efer, and he is just putting in the work in this game one. Absolutely. And this wow. is this we gotta trust. You have to have trust in your teammates. You have to let people try and you have to have other people trust. And so this is where it is, and, and we love Efer, and the reason we love him is because it's like, hey, you're gonna play Luigi, you need to get this down. Yeah. Here's the tools, zero to deaths, up specials, figure it out, go. He did. I did. And, and this is amazing to watch him do this. You guys, you saw last week, he got a zero to death. Yeah, very I, impressive. I think we'll see another one later tonight. Yeah, zero to death being you take the opponent from zero percent to a to taking their stock in one fluid combo or without taking any damage yourself a lot of the time. And Efer there um, almost getting it and then doing a really good job at closing out the stock with him getting back on stage and then going for that up special, up B uppercut. But here he's a whole stock up. We're gonna see if he's able to take this one while keeping two of his own. And doing a really good job at using his aerials to kind of clear, uh, clear the space around him and control that zone. I would have really liked his spike taunt to be used right there. <laughs> he did. Um, Luigi is a very interesting character in which he has a taunt, which taunts are moves that you normally don't do damage, and they're just fun little quirky gimmicky things. But Luigi has a taunt that not only does damage, but is a guaranteed instant kill if you can hit it. Yep. The thing is, though, you gotta hit it. And if you miss it, you're stuck in this this uh, taunt animation, and that can put yourself in danger. And also, I believe taunting is against the rules in the ECAC. Ex excessive. Taunting. Oh, excessive it's, taunting. It's used as a tool. Right. It is an right. actual move. It can be can be used in that way. Okay. Uh, but yeah, no, not excessive. We're, we're not. Yeah. Know, we're not heated. That's fair. Oh the wow, spike. the Zelda. Yeah. Getting a great kill with that knight there, and the Zelda's bringing the game back. 
We'll see what Efer's response is to that and whether he's able to convert this this into a, a lead for the Sagu Lions in this game one. Yep, I think Efer right now is just looking for someone new down special just as he is. Just like that. Waiting to see if he can get something. Maybe it's another grab, that forward throw, back throw, dash attack is always good. Nobody expects the last hit. Um, he's just got a left strap, that's it. It's no big deal. Oh, oh, and oh, trying man. to go for the, the down air into the spike. That's where you want to do your up on right there. Right when they don't have any vulnerability on ledge. Mm. Efer's still gonna make this game come into his favor. Waiting on it. Waiting on it. He's Putting. gonna miss fire in two seconds. Three, three, <laughs> two. Putting her at 128%. And all he needs is one good down B or up B. Maybe some up smash. That would probably do it. And no, this Zelda is doing a really good job at keeping him away. Oh, good. Good neutral air. And, and this Zelda is playing patient, playing really smart. Not letting Efer get any kind of mileage, but going for the dash attack, and it's going to take the stock. Excellent. Excellent game one for yeah. the SAG. Yeah, great job by Efer. Four now, seven to nine in Sagu's favor. Uh, uh, seven to six, I believe. Yeah, seven to six. Excuse me. No, I know it's, math. It's, yeah, it's okay. Um, math is hard. Math is hard. And uh, let's go back to that fraction joke. Anyway, so <laughs> seven to six. Incineroar or Bowser? Oh, I, I, I want the Incineroar. I, pick, I would, I, if I'm SAU, I'm picking Bowser. Really? Yep, take the kill. Mm, take, that's fair. Take, take a kill as, as no. quickly as you can. That's fair. Take, Honestly, take it and go through with it. I think their Bowser would be a really strong anchor from everything that they've seen so far yep. of how the Sagu Lions should play per this game. I think Bowser would be a great anchor, but also playing Bowser in the middle would give them some kind of early lead that maybe will help carry them through. Another thing too, nobody's seen the Me Sword Fighter tonight. No, they if haven't. You, if you put Bowser as the anchor, it's gonna be rough. Yeah. It's gonna be real, real rough. Yeah. And, and it could, you know, work out in favor of you getting some some cheesy things, but in all honesty, you're mm. looking at a, a time of just getting hit by Chakram, Tornado, yeah. Rinse, Repeat. I think done. the only option that Bowser really has is either going for a run in side B grab because his his side special is what's known as a command grab where it's not a normal grab normal grabs there's a lot of end lag and it's a very specific move but a command grab is one that you can do in the air it's one that you can do very quickly after shielding and I think that that could be one way to kind of play around this this spam strategy I also think that that for him to hold shield and continue to inch his way forward and then do some kind of up special out of shield. Could prove some mileage, but Taylor Halo is so quick and he's so fast on that Mii Sword Fighter. Shout out to an old athlete we actually used to have, Kingpin. He was, mm. you know, rumored to be better than Leon oh, with wow. Bowser. This guy was fun. But uh, you learned the, the power of an up special and a command grab. You yeah. did not miss. And so, you know, if you're Bowser and you're, you're going to compete at that level, you do not miss. You no. wait for those opportunities, you play patient, and you capitalize on everything. Absolutely. Here's a real question. What stage are we going to? Mm, I would like to see, since um, if they're going to go Bowser, I would assume that we are going to see something in the vein of maybe a battlefield, because Bowser with that command grab, with platforms available to him, he can... Because how the how that side B command grab works is you grab the opponent and then he he throws you up into the air and slams down on top of you like kind of holding you, and if you can do it on a platform, it can kill you really early at like a really low percent, which is really good. Yep. So if they are they picking the stage or are we picking the stage? They're picking stage. Oh, oh it was the man. Incineroar. If you guys, if you guys heard that, we play against a lot of Incineroars. Yeah. It's kind of uh, Efer's bread and butter. Yeah. Hopefully. 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 Yeah, We're not hopefully. jinxing him. Yeah, no, no, no. But, uh... No commentator's curse here. No, no, no. But no, no. you guys might be here for a treat. Yeah. Efer knows this Incineroar matchup really well. He's played this in... Way too many times. Way to too many times. This is what we picked him for. Yeah. He, he knows this matchup like anything else. And his ability to kind of know what the Incineroar is trying to do, what they're going for, to capitalize on their mistakes, convert it into a lead. And we'll see if Efer can make something happen. But right now, this Incineroar is really putting on the damage here. Efer, there he goes with his combos. And trying to level out the playing field. Oh, man. 
Oh, oh man. great conversion there. That's that's putting yourself in the lead. Wait for it. Down special going straight up. Good DI. Combined to Incineroar, but Now once you're in the air, you can't get it. Yeah. That's, that's really frustrating. That is really tough. And DI, remember, being directional input. It's kind of where you move your movement joystick. And that matters even when you're in the air. Because DIing in the opposite direction of the barrier can actually save your life every now and then because you might need just that little extra resistance to keep you from going out. And the Incineroar doing it there, keeping him from going all the way up to the top. And Efer trying to... Oh, Woo! great, great what spacing. Forward spin. Wow, that was phenomenal spacing in avoiding that, um, what eventually would have been an Incineroar grab, that is command grab there. I believe that's a side special. You can see right here the grab by E for trying to get something started. Hopefully, Zero Death does not get what, but he does have some other options for her. And yeah, that that side B grab I was talking about is when he grabs you and throws you into what looks like the side of a wrestling ring. Um, but, wow, and Zinora getting the back throw. And Efer still staying alive. Ooh, great parry there. A parry is when it's even better than a shield. A parry allows you to move quicker than your opponent after they hit you, but you have to get the timing perfect, and the Incineroar is going to take the stock there. But hey, we still have a one-stock lead. Sagu Lions keeping it 6-5. to five. Doing a, Efer doing a great job at taking that first stock, and now the Sagu Lions are going to push this next game with a lead. Yep, and, and for those of you guys who are just popping in, our set score right now is one to one. The series uh, for for in, in this individual game, we are now at six and five. Yes, six and five. Sagu is up. Sagu is up by one stock. And so let's hope that in this next game, whoever I don't know who is playing second. Um, oh, it's BKR. BKR, right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So BKR playing second on his Diddy Kong, um, really knowing his way around that play style and that that character and we'll see how he's able to handle this incineroar and honestly if if diddy kong can watch out for revenge which is one of incineroar's moves it's his down special it allows him to absorb the damage from an attack and charge up this special hit um to where if he hits you again while he's like covered in these embers um, after consuming the damage, he shoots it back out at you and it does a bunch of damage. Does huge percent, knocks you back really far. If, if BKR can kind of play around this revenge, not get hit by it, not allow this, um, Incineroar to get too close, because that's where Incineroar is the, dan the most dangerous, is right in that melee face-to-face -face area of attack but that's the thing about diddy kong is aside from banana he has to get up close and personal to this incineroar but the incineroar um both players having a little fun before the match actually starts and here we're gonna get into this next game incineroar at two stocks and bkr's diddy kong at three wow good trip there i don't know if the incineroar's objective was to land on the banana Probably not. Probably not, because the thing about landing on the banana is it'll trip you, and then you're stuck in this trip animation, and that can be very detrimental to avoid. And see, I was talking about that revenge there. He um, avoided that that damage and also stored it up for himself, and when he's covered in those embers... Ooh, and BKR getting the stock there, and now BKR only has to take one more. Looks like we're experiencing a little bit of lag too, but that's not going to stop EKR from sending this string up. This isn't even a combo. This is custom wow. homemade. Bake your mom some cookies right here. Banana getting thrown. Down throw. Wow. Forward air. There's so much happening right now. BKR is just putting on the damage. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to get that stock, but the banana was able to trip there, which is great for BKR. Because banana. Oh no! Oh my goodness! No, BK leave him alone! Yeah. Leave oh, him alone. getting two trips with a banana in a row. This Incineroar is really struggling <laughs> against this banana, and even stopping the banana with revenge, but then getting hit by it after. That's the thing about Diddy Kong is banana is such a formidable. It's item. a formidable opponent. Yes, it is. And oh, getting the up smash. It's not gonna kill. Incineroar is actually quite heavy. Um, so he can actually be pretty hard to kill. Yeah, but taking a lot of damage right there too. You see all that rage, that or not rage, um, 
Uh, revenge. Revenge. That was taken out by Incineroar on that neutral special. Yeah. It almost evens up the stock. Yeah, that right there. That's that revenge we're talking about. And if he can hit BKR while he's covered in those embers, he will do a bunch of damage. Yeah, yeah. There's no coming back from getting hit like that, so... Ooh. And that side B monkey flip. Doing some damage. Giving BKR stage control. Playing center stage really well. Oh, wow. Great stop by this Incineroar. Oh, almost there. getting the kill there. BKR doing... Oh, trying to kill with that up special, and that should take the stock. Yep, and there's BKR getting a three stock. Two stock. Uh, two stock there, correct. On that Incineroar, and now the Sagu lines are up six to three. With BKR showing a very dominating performance against that Incineroar, and... Great job by BKR to Absolutely. close out that game. Yeah, no, play, played it as he should, got hit by two things, and that, you know, can add up to 80 damage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if those two things are just right, Yeah, uh, I don't see any issues with that. This should be a clean, um, uh, easy cleanup for him. Uh, going up against Bowser, bigger object to trip. Mm. That's what you think about. Yeah. You're not, not, you know, what happens if I get crap? Again, it's the whole mentality of play my game. Mm. Don't worry about what happens. Play yeah. my game. And so, Brayden's going to come in here, get as many trips as possible. Strings, Bowser is heavy. As long as he's able to understand, hey, if, if someone's on shield or if I'm on his shield, I can, you know, I got to respect that and back off. you be all right. Yeah. Should be, should be good. Should be good. I think and we're going, though, sorry. No, you're, you're it just good. just came into my mind. You're good. Most likely, so they're going to, they're going to ban Battlefield and Yoshi's story. Mm. Drive Lads. Yeah. Might also ban Smashville. This leaves it probably to Town and City. Mm. Town and City is a pretty strong map for Bowser, but it's also a pretty good map for Diddy Kong. Just because I believe Town and City, if I'm correct, or it might be Smashville, has shorter edges on the Smashville. outside. Smashville. Smashville, okay. So Smashville's barrier is skinnier, but Town and City's, I believe it's either shorter. Town and City, I think it's shorter. Yeah, it, the top of the barrier is lower. So it's easier to kill someone by shooting them upward to the to the, the barrier that the is top above, blast. the top blast zone. And so I think that would be smart for Bowser because you do have platforms and because the top of the barrier is smaller, it is easier to get there. Lazarus, and, we see about your Incineroar. Yeah, hopefully you did it's good. not the same thing. Yeah, yeah, hopefully not. It's not his. Oh, it's not his? No, okay. no, no. Okay. one of our Discord guys. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, looks like some lag. That's yeah. not gonna stop Brayden either. That Brayden is absolutely putting on the heat onto this Bowser. And like I said, I think the Bowser is a really good anchor here. I think he can do a really good job at kind of locking down this final game if he can. But we are experiencing a bit of lag, but it seems to be shorting, sorting itself out. And yeah, both kind of playing patient until the lag kind of figures itself out. And we're going to get back into this game. And there's that up special we were talking about. You cannot pressure Bowser's shield. You yeah. can't get on him. You yeah. can't. You got to respect the guy. Yeah. Maybe, maybe big, maybe you know, conceivably slow. But, uh, no, he will, he will wreck your world if you're not patient, you're not respectful. Absolutely. And that up special is when he does, he goes inside of his shell and spins really quickly. And the thing about that move is that it, you can use it extremely quickly after you have just used your shield. So you can protect yourself with your shield, and then the moment someone is attacking you and they're still in their attack animation, you can use your up special right out of your shield, and most times you can get damage on the opponent. Yeah. Very, very strong. And you're seeing a lot more strength right here from BKR too. This is a prime time moment and being able to do these things. Oh, almost taking the stock there. Oh, oh wow. my goodness. Great usage of banana there. Welcome to Space Camp, kid. <laughs> yeah doing a really good job at, at kind of keeping him in the air with his banana and then do, going for the downward aerial attack which spikes you straight down into the bottom barrier blast zone area and now being up oh we're getting another, another one. one we might see a six stock takeaway from bkr here i think we get a hat trick spike i would like to see it i would like to see it BKR using his banana very effectively. Oh, what a wow, shield. great shield there. Oh, oh and... wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, no, we got a third spike! Wait, 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 wait. Wow. <laughs> every, sp every stock being taken by a spike. So well played by BKR. And that is going to be game three for the Sagu Lions. They continue. Their undefeated streak going 6-0, and, oh, and unfortunately, SAU Blue doing a really good performance, especially in that game, too, but not able to take the win. 
and we are going to see them go 0-6, but the Sagu Lions continuing their undefeated streak, doing a really great job closing that out. BKR not even letting the anchor for the Sagu Lions play, whether it be Taylor Halo or the Duke, whoever it was going to be. Yep. Um, just, wow. Doing a great job at stopping that game in its tracks, and he didn't lose a single stock. No, that whole time he went six and zero oh in that second game. Yeah, yeah. That's wow, fantastic performance by him. Wow, um, in all aspects, there's really you know nothing better. Yeah. Brayden, come on, Indian, <laughs> tell, tell us. Yeah, uh, interview with the BKR. Tell us a little bit about. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sit right there. That's a perfect seat. So excellent seat. Tell us a little bit about, um, you know, how was, how was the hat trick uh, spike. Uh, monkey brains go bird. Yeah, right. right. Okay, so brain doesn't speak English. No, so we'll translate no, that. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Uh, no, it was mad fun. I mean, at the end, at, the, at that point, I want. I was like, okay, he's a big body, and I can do the the monkey flip hit four there. Mm -hmm. That's a cheesy thing I learned. And then uh, I was like, well, he hasn't got many resources, so I'll just go for it. Yep. And then the two frame was clean. Yeah, yes. that was very like, that, that very was clean. Nice. And the other one, I mean, the, the banana down, and that's just free. Yeah. No. That's free. That's yep. that's Bowser. So <laughs> that's excellent. Just Excellent job setting that up. Excellent job tonight, sir. Thank you Hooray! for how well you did. The Duke, sir, get in here. Wow. He played. Let's hear. Play. Let's, let's hear. Start. I did play. Oh, let's, yes. hear, let's hear a little bit about in your first match well, for the semester. So I didn't eat anything today. I think oh. I had one packet of ramen this morning. So I'm kind of kind of like big stinky on my like. Um, anyways, it's fine. I was my stomach hurt the whole time. But I'm living. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. First one. Uh, the dude. We got we got the funny clip. Yeah. Where I down aired the Incineroar three times in a row on plat, um, and it was it, it, that was a funny funny moment. And so, then sorry to tell you this. No, you're good. Stream stream didn't have that. Break us down <sighs> how that first game went. Okay. Yeah. Um. Well, we were playing and I was kicking butt. We got a lag spike. I started going down a little bit. Um. And then I hit the funny down air thing, and then I hit my down air um up tilt. Which mm -hmm. is hard to hit. That it is hard, hard to hit. Is, yeah. And um, I'm happy about that. And then, um, throughout the game, I was like, man, I, and this one just might be some advice for the Incineroar player. He was normal get-upping a lot. And mm -hmm. I was like, you know, I have a cool thing called Octoslash. <laughs> so I got my, my on stage uh, Octoslash kill at like 50. Awesome. Wow. Wow. And so that was fun. And Pretty then I got time. my shield broken by a Bowser because I tried to do the same downer thing because I did two in a row and then I went for the third one and he was like, hey, by the way, up smash. And I'm like, yeah, all right, it's okay. And then I played against a Zelda, which I hate. So it happens. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah it happens. It but is. Yeah. Great job. Yeah, way to yeah. play against but, their whole team then. Yeah. That's, yeah. You, you got to do that. I did get to play against everybody. Yeah, you yeah, did. So. Completely. Anyways, how did it go for y'all? Oh, dude. Oh, um, good. It was great. It was wild. Ask good. the stream. They were here like six times. Love that. Um... Yeah, thanks for tuning in, y'all. Was it? Wow, look at the team. Look at the Super Smash Bros. Sagu Lions team. Guys, I didn't play tonight. That DK was some guy found on the street. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. Definitely. Actually, it was Wilkie. It was Wilkie. That's who it was. Right, 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 right. We have it on stream. I just want to say on stream, I did better than Taylor. No, I'm kidding. You did do better. All right, get out of here. All right, get out of here. All right, all right. We got to shut this down. Thank you to the Sagu Lions Smash Bros. team. Y'all killed it, and they're the most chaotic group of people ever. <laughs> they are so much energy and so fun, and they're just like that while they're playing. It's wonderful, and they there's so much chemistry. They talk to each other. They love playing and just being good at the game. Um, but yeah, we made it work. We got a full game too. Yep. And we are here to give you guys content. But I think that's yep. I think that's gonna be it. We gotta wrap it up. We got yeah. a uh, a message that we're gonna be preparing tonight at nine o'clock. That may be live for uh, on Twitch or in Discord. So. Keep an eye out on that if you guys are in our Discord. Um, gonna be talking a little bit about. Are you gonna spoil it? Are you gonna spoil it? Are you gonna spoil it? That word is there. It's just Coach I've, Wilkie. I've been the teaser, the cliffhanger. He's dangling over the eyes of the audience. We, we just had this whole thing of my family where the as the men get older, we don't know how to talk anymore. Oh right. So that's kind of what just happened. I think that's that's like a human thing. So if you have your family has that too, that's like double. Yeah. That's I'm so sorry. It's it's rough. So wow. I think it's um the word it's the the, the synonym is indecision, but it's something mm. else. Mm. Um anyway, so it's gonna be great. It's so gonna be so I good. I have notes for that. I yeah. can read it. I won't forget what I'm saying. If you guys want to tune in for that, yeah. uh it'll be fantastic. Yeah. So anyways, we will see you guys hopefully in the next fifteen or so minutes. Um enjoy your night. Thank you again for Saturday Sports Network for helping us out in the beginning. Thanks to Oh man, this whole internet. The house. My dog, Henry, The internet. Henry. Everything that's going on with yes. this. Uh, 
we're, we're, we're here. So we love you guys. Appreciate you. We will talk to you later. Enjoy your night. SAU, excellent job tonight. Thanks for giving our guys a run for their money. We appreciate you guys. Have a blessed night.